What's up, YouTube? Having you once again bringing you guys today's videos today. I thought I'd go ahead and talk about what is the best place to farm after the update with Barch. So, in case you've been living under a rock, basically, after the updates, everywhere there's really no loot, and you have to find a place where you know is the sweet spot. So, basically, it's pretty easy to find a league that actually has loot, and the only thing you gotta do is just get a league that no one is actually farming in it can be hard to find a random league that no one's really farming in but there is leagues of course that people just don't apparently be there after the update so here is one it is my sweet spot which is gold too i've been actually just raiding with barch if you guys can see right here i've been uh barch drop a troop barch drop a troop and basically the reason why i'm actually dropping a troop is because i want to stay in my position and not go higher or lower yes i am going higher or lower a little bit but I just don't want to keep on going until I get to like masters or something. So uh, you want to make sure that you drop a barbarian or an archer after you raid or your king or something like that. That is if you do win the raid. So now I'm going to go ahead and find a raid. I've been averaging around 300 to 200k of each. I've been actually raiding. I raided this one, which only had elixir, but the elixir was in cetacean. So I did attack that base right there. But let's go and see what we can find with the army right now. So find a match. And let's go to see how many, uh, that's too much. So I'll be right back when I do find a raid and yes. So peace. All right, guys. So we are back. We found a dead town hall 10 here. So we're going to go ahead and talk from the bottom with the gold here. Um, don't think I'm going to deploy my, uh, spells down. So two heroes, which is a little bit hard for me because of course the archers and barbarians take forever to the, you know, actually destroy the heroes. But actually, no, there we go. So. I'm gonna deploy some archers right here, barbarians. Now I know I kind of suck at raiding, so this is gonna make a really bad impression of me. Well, not actually, you guys already know I suck, but um, yeah, just go ahead and find some loot. So this one wasn't the highest I found yet. Of course, you guys saw the replays there, and the highest I found was 300k of each, which is a lot still. And even after the update, 300k, I'll take any base like that. So I still have some of the elixir right here. I'm going to go in and place some archers. And there is a mortar right there, but he is low level. So it's really not going to do anything. It's going to two-shot my archers, which is enough time to give... Uh, it's enough time to give my archers... It's enough time for the archers to take out the elixir. So there we go. I'm just mixing up my words right now. So that's pretty much it, guys, for this raid. I'm going to go ahead in the battle. And okay... You got 200k of each and the loot bonus, of course, and return home. So, that's pretty much it, guys, for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Pretty short, but here's a tip for those of you who are actually looking for a Dark Elixir. Because I know if you go to Gold 2, and if you're Tunnel 9 or 10 or something like that, or Tunnel 11 even, uh, you're not going to really find, you know, Dark Elixir. So, my tip for Dark Elixir is to go higher in Cups. Of course, if you go higher in Cups, you can't really use Barts because those leagues are already filled with bases that are hybrid of course you have bases you know now in the update you have to use hybrid base hybrid or trophy so in that case you're gonna have to bring giants archers wizards you can even raid with golems if you want to to get dark elixir but it's really not gonna you know kind of make you a profit but my recommendation is to farm with balloonian in you know masters league crystal league and champions league for dark elixir when i get done with my walls i'm gonna go ahead and focus on heroes and dark elixir truce with balloonian up in the higher leagues so that's my recommendation for you guys is to just use balloonian and go higher in leagues for dark elixir so that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you guys enjoyed please rate comment and subscribe and leave below a league that you think has loot as well for those of you who are looking for other leagues like you know those other sweet spots so yeah hope you guys enjoyed peace out youtube and see you on the next one peace